Music time's over. What? Johnny Depp has had a lot of iconic roles during his career, but one of his best-known parts is that of Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. In the movie Dead Men's Chest, the little song I've Got a Jar of Dirt was completely improvised by Johnny Depp. That's why the surprised reactions from the other actors are completely real. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? Enough! In the 1980 comedy thriller Airplane, Leslie Nielsen slapped Lee Bryant for real during the get a hold of yourself man scene and threw in a second slap without warning for good measure. Her confused reaction in this scene is entirely real. Doctor, you want another phone? For the anti-climax boss scene in The Avengers when Loki gets whipped around by the Hulk, Tom Hiddleston wore a rope tied around his legs that the film crew used to yank him off his feet. He knew he'd be pulled for the scene, but he wasn't told exactly when it would happen, so his surprise reaction is completely genuine. In the 1971 thriller The Beguiled, there's a scene where Clint Eastwood's character kisses a 12-year-old girl to keep her quiet. According to the actress, the script had it written for him to cover her mouth with his hand, and it had been rehearsed that way. The director suggested the change without telling her about it. In This Is The End, Michael Sierra asks Rihanna if he could grope her behind, which she allows if she gets to slap him in return. She hit him in the face so hard he had to lie down from the dizziness. Don't touch my that's not cool, man. Fuck up, Jason, we're playing a game, man. During the torture scene in Casino Royale, Mads Mikkelsen was really swinging the rope hard at Daniel Craig's genitals, which were protected by a single piece of plywood that eventually started splintering. The two used the danger and discomfort to take the scene much farther than scripted, prompting director Martin Campbell to tell them to dial it back. The fact that James was still able to have a kid after what happened to him in this scene proves that he has balls of steel. During the making of The Deer Hunter, director Michael Cimino convinced Christopher Walken to actually spit in Robert De Niro's face. De Niro was completely surprised by it, as evidenced by his reaction. De Niro's genuine shock nearly led him to walk off set in anger. In the movie Seven, director David Fincher never told John McGinley that the corpse used for Sloth was actually a living actor in heavy makeup. McGinley's character's initial shock when Sloth wakes in the movie was genuine. Due to a miscommunication on the set of The Hateful Eight, Kurt Russell accidentally smashed a 140-year-old antique guitar instead of the prop. Music time's over. <laughs> this scene was meant to be cut, a prop put in place, and then for the smashing to occur. For some reason, that was probably not communicated, and he ended up smashing the original piece. I have a very great friend in Rome called Bigger Stickers. Silence! What is all this insolence? In Monty Python's Life of Brian, the soldier's reaction during the famous Biggest Dickest scene is completely genuine. He was an extra who had been told simply not to laugh and had no idea what was about to happen. Biggest. Dickus. In Maleficent, the young Aurora was played by Angelina Jolie's daughter, Vivian. The five-year-old got the part because she was the only child who wasn't terrified of Jolie and her Maleficent makeup. Several other younger children auditioned and wouldn't go near her. Her daughter wasn't actually acting, she was just trying to get her mom's attention. In Being John Malkovich, after Schwartz and the title character walk up the hill from the drainage pipe, Malkovich angrily walks away. As he does so, a car passes by and a drunken passenger lobs a beer can that hits him squarely in the head. He was just a paid extra with no specific role, but he got drunk and impulsively threw a can. Surprisingly, the director liked it and decided to include it in the movie. Hey Malkovich, think fast! In the 1977 horror movie Exorcist II The Heretic, when Linda Blair is about to walk off the edge of a building, there are no safety measures in place. One wrong step, and she would have plummeted. In The Fabulous Baker Boys, when real-life brothers Bo and Jeff Bridges fight, Jeff very nearly actually breaks Bo's hand. Brother, beat the shit out of
They planned to come up with a safe word in case things went too far. But Jeff forgot himself, and Bo went to the hospital directly afterward. My aunt, Jack. In Planet of the Apes, Charlton Heston's famous get your stinking paws off me line was made all the more realistic because Heston was suffering from pneumonia. The director liked it because he felt it made Heston's voice sound more authentic. Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Remember the scene from Titanic where Rose spits on the face of her arrogant fiancé played by Billy Zane? Well, Kate Winslet was the one who suggested Rose spit in Billy Zane's face. As per the original script, Rose was supposed to jab him with a hairpin, but I bet we all prefer her spitting in his face. Director James Cameron thought this improvisation was a great idea, but didn't tell actor Billy Zane about it, so his reaction is 100% genuine. In An American Werewolf in London, one of the extras in the zoo scene was told that the lead, David Naughton, was going to say a few words to her and move on. She wasn't told that he was going to be completely naked when he did that. Excuse me. In True Lies, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character was scripted to smash a car window in frustration while arguing with Gibb, played by Tom Arnold. The SUV window had been replaced with stage glass, as you might expect, but Schwarzenegger hit the wrong window by mistake. Give me the goddamn page! Tom Arnold therefore ends up reacting to Arnold Schwarzenegger breaking a real car window barehanded. Okay. In the climactic scene of Die Hard where Hans Gruber falls out of the building, Alan Rickman was suspended over 40 feet in the air and told that he was going to be let go on a count of three where he would safely land on the safety mat. Except they dropped him on one, and the look of panic on his face is definitely real. The scene where Bond is in a pool with sharks and Thunderball was meant to be filmed with the sharks in a plexiglass tunnel. When it turned out not enough glass was available and there would be a hole in the tunnel, the filmmakers elected not to tell Sean Connery, as he was terrified of the sharks and they knew they would never be able to get him in the pool if he was aware of the problem. Hence the terrified look on his face when the shark comes after him and then is practically doing a vertical leap out of the water. In the film Tora Tora Tora, a radio-controlled aircraft was supposed to roll down the runway past a bunch of extras and then blow up. It went out of control and swerved toward the extras, who then really did start running for their lives. They are wire-controlled replicas of P-40 fighters, but with real Allison engines in them. Both takes are seen in the finished movie, one where the plane runs into a row of parked planes, and the other that explodes and spins to a halt in the middle of the runway. In Pretty Woman, in the scene where Edward gives Vivian a diamond necklace, he snaps the lid of the jewelry box on her fingers, causing her to jump and then shriek with laughter. <laughs> the lid snap was spontaneous on Richard Gere's part, and Robert's reaction was real. <laughs> on Endless Love, director Zeffirelli stood out of the shoot, squeezing star Brooke Shields' big toe. The reason for this was that the director was looking to find a pain reaction from Shields that made it look like she was having an orgasm because nothing says pleasure quite like having your big toe squished and wiggled out of the socket. In The Princess Diaries, the scene where Mia trips and falls in the bleachers wasn't a part of the script. <laughs> Anne Hathaway had accidentally slipped in a puddle. Director Gary Marshall liked it so much that he decided to keep it in the movie. In Rocky, when he runs through the Italian marketplace, the people's amused expressions as they look on is genuine, as they had no idea why a man was running back and forth being followed by a van. The man who throws him the orange was completely improvised. 